in this demo we are going to be looking at some uses of delay in grunge and alt rock to showcase this, the GFI system Orca Delay. Now this is a very simple interface, just four knobs and two foot switches, plus there's an LCD readout there, but if you push down on these knobs and twist them, you get access to some secondary functions. There's a bunch of features, but essentially you get four types of delay in this puppy. You have a digital delay, tape delay, ambiental, which adds like um, pitch and modulation, and diffuse, which also adds reverb. So let's check them out with some riffs. So in the intro, you heard Alison Chains' Brush Away with a digital delay setting, and I'm gonna kick things off with an Incubus track called Wish You Were Here, which basically has uh, reverb and delay. And the diffuse mode has exactly that. So you can control the amount of reverb and the depth and all that sort of stuff. Reverb and the uh, decay I've set at five and the rest of the settings are as per here. Delay time is around 540 milliseconds with about one repeat, okay? But first, clean tone I'm using is this. <laughs> The reverb really helps to sort of mask some of the delay so it all blends together. I'm also going to add a little bit of dirt from the uh, 1991. So then we have this. Frusciante is also a very tasteful user of delay in songs. So next up we're going to have a look at Don't Forget Me by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So we're using the digital mode for this one and I've just cranked the time down to about 320 milliseconds again, just one repeat, so we've got this. Now for part of the verse he's playing this. <laughs> so you get that that really cool kind of repeating pattern. So he's basically palm muting and doing some quite quick, you know, alternate picking. So you get that kind of like, you know, fast bouncing ball type effect, right? And then if you add a bit of dirt and then he goes to this. tapping and stuff right so it's just a really effective use of uh, a very simple digital delay and with a little bit more gain another proponent of this is Mike McCready from Pearl Jam in Evenflow <laughs> Back to diffuse mode so we can add some reverb and I've cranked the uh, the reverb right up we can do Stone Temple Pilots No Memory which has uh, reverb and uh, a fairly quick slap back Next up we're going to look at the tape echo mode which is brilliant and we're going to use uh, some Pearl Jam examples again with Mike McCready and we'll take nothing as it seems as our first example because there's loads of delay and fuzz and all sorts of stuff in that but um, I always find that this uh, particular type of delay is like the Jason Voorhees. You get that cheat 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 ah, ah, ah. it's roughly the same as that right so this is my friday the 13th setting and it being tape delay you can add wow and flutter and all that sort of stuff with the secondary functions of the top two knobs and with a bit of benson germanium fuzz we have this <laughs>
Now sticking with the same settings, I'm going to use the tap tempo to change the time for sirens because there's a very similar um, type of delay in that as well. So if you just tap four times on the right hand button, one, two, three, four, that's roughly 700 milliseconds, right? And with the fuzz on again. Now another guitarist and band really that use delay brilliantly is Dave Navarro, um, especially with Jane's Addiction. There's some really tasteful uses of that. So with these settings, we've got this going on. So I've cranked the level of the effect right up. So in the solo for Mountain song, for example, Dave plays. But then there's a slide and then the delay gets applied, right? which just fills out the gap before the next few licks come in beautifully. Now there's one more mode I haven't shown you yet, which is the ambient reflection. Now again, there's a bunch of tweakable stuff. You can change the pitch and there's a glitter setting and modulation speed and all sorts of stuff. So you can see I've set it there to an octave above the note that I'm playing, okay? And I'm gonna play you out with a band that uses a fair bit of delay very subtly and generally in a lot of clean parts, which is Smashing Pumpkins. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. And here is Soma. Mm -hmm. 